Hi, welcome to Breathe Better with Elizabeth. I'm Elizabeth. I get a ton of questions about shortness of breath. So I'm gonna start, um, I guess we could call it a series, but um, I wanted to go over the main things today. And then I'm going to start breaking each one down so that um, I can further explain why each of these illnesses cause shortness of breath. Um, because it's a common misconception that if you're short of breath, it means you have something wrong with your lungs. Um, that's not always the case. So first I wanna go over the top chronic illnesses that cause shortness of breath. Now, this is by far not everything, okay? Um, but I did put the top ones, the most common ones over here on my board. Um, so the one everybody thinks about is COPD. COPD does cause shortness of breath. Um, now COPD encompasses emphysema as well as chronic bronchitis. So those can be thrown in here too as um, things that cause shortness of breath. Asthma is another really big one. Um, it probably causes shortness of breath more than any of the other ones on here. Next, I put anxiety on here. This is a big one because um, anxiety can make shortness of breath worse. It can cause shortness of breath and shortness of breath causes anxiety. So um, anxiety is on here. It can be looped in with any of these other chronic illnesses because a lot of these things overlap. So um, it's very possible that it's not just one thing causing your shortness of breath. It could be multiple things. Um, heart disease is one. Um, a lot of people don't realize that. There are many heart conditions, heart diseases that cause shortness of breath. Um, COVID-19, it's a big one. Um, it, you know, obviously that's the main symptom of COVID-19 is the shortness of breath. So um, you have to throw that on here. Anemia is another big one um, that people don't really think about. So anemia means low red blood cells. Red blood cells carry oxygen. So if you're anemic and you're low on red blood cells, your oxygen reading is going to be low and um, it can cause shortness of air. Next we have IPF, what is, which is interstitial pulmonary fibrosis. Um, some of the COVID-19 pneumonia is actually causing this, um, so that can kind of be looped together, but this can also be just pulmonary fibrosis um, that does not have an actual cause. Many people, before COVID-19 ever came around, IPF was around, and that's because um, people still get it. Um, sometimes, most of the time, the origin of how they got it um, is unknown, but that's a big one. Lung cancer, of course, can cause shortness of breath. And another one I wanted to throw on here is obesity. Now, most people think obesity like really, 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 really overweight, but you can literally gain 20 pounds and be short of breath from that, okay? And the reason is because most people, once they gain, they're gonna gain in this area. Well, this is where your lungs expand. So if your belly has, has gained about 20 pounds, it's gonna be pushing up on your diaphragm. It's gonna be harder for your lungs to expand. Um, a lot of times the whole trunk is what gains weight first. And so that actually is basically like putting 20 pounds on your chest and trying to breathe. You're not going to breathe the same. So um, I have obesity, but really it's weight gain of any kind of significance can cause shortness of breath. Um, so those are the chronic illnesses. Um, now, I also wanted to throw on here things that can happen that can cause you to get short of breath acutely or sudden onset shortness of breath. This is what is very scary for a lot of people. Um, and this stuff can happen with any of these chronic illnesses. So these can happen on their own, or if you have a chronic illness, they can happen with them as well. So a big one is mucus plug. Um, so anyone who has a lot of secretions probably knows what a mucus plug is, but basically it's um, mucus that gets stuck in one of the airways 
that is causing um, limited airflow through that airway. So that will definitely cause shortness of breath. Um, and anxiety attack. So um, that also is kind of self-explanatory. Um, they can come on all of a sudden and you're going to have the feeling of shortness of breath. Um, and so that's very scary. And that usually will make the shortness of breath even worse because you get scared. Um, PE, which is a pulmonary embolism. This is, you know, this one is very, very scary. This is when you get short of breath, your oxygen drops. Um, usually your heart rate's gonna go sky high with it. I mean, this, this is a medical emergency. A severe allergic reaction, also a medical emergency. So this is going to be, you know, if you hear of people carrying an EpiPen with them, it's usually because they have such a severe allergic reaction towards whatever it is they carry the pen for that um, they require that shot of epinephrine to kind of decrease the swelling and decrease the um, effects of the allergic reaction. But a lot of, a lot of the times what happens is you swell up everywhere. Well, if your airway gets swelled up, just even the tiniest bit, you know, that's gonna be a serious problem. So that is also a medical emergency. Heart attack, medical emergency, has many symptoms, but one of them is shortness of breath. Um, atrial fibrillation is an arrhythmia of your heart that can happen, it can come on all of the sudden. Um, and there are other arrhythmias that can cause shortness of breath. Um, AFib is the most common, which is why I have that on here. Um, a pneumo, which is short for a pneumothorax. So this is when you can have just a sudden collapse of your lungs. Usually it's only one lung, one area of a lung, but um, that also, as you can guess, is a medical emergency. Now, um, croup, which tends to just happen with little kids, babies, um, usually that's very distinct because, you know, um, the child will start breathing heavily, usually belly breathing or flaring their nostrils. And usually you can hear a wheeze with that. Um, and the next one is RSV. Now this used to be primarily for children, but we've been seeing a lot more RSV in adults. So um, we can't count that out. Even if you're an adult, you should still get checked for RSV if you have an acute sudden onset and they cannot find another reason for it. So um, like I said, this is kind of, it's a lot of stuff, but you know, I really wanted to do this because so many people are like, my oxygen level is good, but I'm still short of breath. And um, it's kind of hard to explain because there's just so much that goes into it, but there are many, many things that can cause shortness of breath. So it's very important if you are getting short of breath that you find out why exactly it is that you're getting short of breath because that is how you can treat it, is if you find out what it is exactly that's causing it. So um, I will be making um, several short videos is where I'm probably gonna break all of these down. Um, if I get into one that looks like it's gonna be long, then, then I'll just post a long video on my page. But um, feel free to share, ask any questions. I always get back with you. Um, and just look for my other ones. I should be doing, um, I'll try to do one a day. Okay. Thank you. Bye.